Converting a motorcycle from shaft to chain drive. Is this a good idea? Should you do it? If you're going to do it, what's involved in it? Hang out with me for a few minutes and let's talk about it. What's up everyone? It's Alex. Today we're answering a viewer question again. This one's a few weeks old, so I apologize for that. But today's question came from ob one Funky who asked me if I could make a video explaining how to convert a motorcycle from shaft to chain drive to save the extra power that you lose typically in a shaft final drive. So I wanted to respond to that by making this video, or I want to cover really should you do this, and this is going to go for either a shaft to chain or if you want to go from chain to drive shaft for whatever reason you would want to do that. If you're converting the final drive system of a motorcycle, I want to actually have a discussion on whether or not you should do that, and if you're going to, at least what's involved in it. I'm not going to show you how to do that because I don't have a shaft driven motorcycle here right now that I want to convert to chain, and if I did, I would not. So let me explain that to you. Real quick, if you guys dig the video, hit like. If you haven't, hit subscribe. If you dislike the video, hit dislike, so I know you dislike the video. These kind of things help tell me what kind of stuff to keep making for you guys, and it's at least to get some kind of a response out of you either way. Also, if you have comments, leave them in the comments below. If you have questions, concerns, whatever, add to the discussion. That's the whole point here. So, converting a motorcycle from drive shaft to chain. Why would someone want to do this to begin with? Well, in a typical shaft-driven motorcycle, you are losing on average up to 10% of your potential power in your final drive system simply by moving the extra mass of the drive shaft and the extra pieces and knuckles and joints involved in doing so. So with a shaft driven motorcycle, you are typically taking less power transfer to the ground in exchange for more reliability, lower maintenance, you know, a chain, you have to lube, adjust, clean, all that kind of stuff. A motorcycle drive shaft, you pretty much just leave it alone until it's done, if it's ever done. Maybe you do final fluid in the rear end, but you know, that's it. So there are people that want to move from a shaft drive to a chain on various motorcycles to save that power delivery, to make it lighter, all those kinds of good things. Typically, you're going to see this in someone doing a custom build, like maybe they're taking a cruiser like a V-Star 1100, V-Star 650, Honda Shadow, you name it, a shaft-driven, smaller to mid-sized cruiser. Maybe they want to do a bobber build with it. Maybe they want to do some crazy like cafe bike build with it or a scrambler, you name it. A lot of times those people will want to convert from a shaft drive to a chain for those reasons. Or maybe someone with a chain drive motorcycle decides they want the reliability and the leave it and forget it of a drive shaft. I have seen people want to go from a chain to a shaft. It's just not very common. Usually you either have one or the other. So when it comes to converting from a shaft, here's my recommendations. I don't do it. I don't like to do it. Motorcycles are readily available enough on the used market that if you want a shaft driven motorcycle, I think you should find a used inexpensive or whatever shaft driven motorcycle. If you want a chain driven motorcycle, I think you should find a chain driven motorcycle. Even if you're doing your build, I think you should just start with whichever system you're going to want to. It's going to save you a lot of time, hassle, and some expensive pieces. That being said, if you are a custom build kind of person, if you're wanting to take a cruiser or do a bobber or do something crazy like that, if you're wanting to take a motorcycle with a shaft and convert it to a chain for part of a custom build because that's just the motorcycle you want to deal with and you're willing to go through the time, energy, and pain in the ass it is to do this, here's typically what you have to do. First off, you're going to have to redo your entire rear wheel setup. It's not like you can just unbolt the drive shaft and bolt the sprocket to the rear end of this thing. Typically a drive shaft is going to use a different wheel hub, it's going to use a different rear axle, it's a completely different system of attaching everything. So I would recommend for whatever motorcycle that is, try to find a rear wheel that is the same size as is currently on the motorcycle but is already set up for chain drive. Find a rear wheel in the appropriate size with the appropriate weight ratings for that motorcycle but that already has the wheel hub and the axle set up and everything to take a sprocket on the rear end. Barring that, you're going to have to buy a whole new wheel hub, new axle, and sprocket and the entire setup to make that work. It's going to get expensive. Typically, if you are actually buying all new parts to change a shaft over to a chain drive, you're going to spend upwards of $1,000 or more just for all the parts that you need to make this happen. It's not cheap to do if you're not using used parts, and used parts can be dubious at best. So I would highly recommend if you're going to do this, try to find an appropriate sized rear wheel that's already set up for chain drive. 
Next, you're gonna to have to get the pieces and parts appropriate to convert the front end of the system over to a chain drive as well. Because you're gonna be starting off with the joints and the knuckles involved in going from your transmission into a shaft drive. This is gonna differ from motorcycle to motorcycle, so I'm not getting super specific into it, but you are gonna have a joint at the front end of your shaft drive system that attaches your shaft to the actual output on the motorcycle. You're gonna to have to convert that over to a front sprocket system. So for whatever motorcycle you are doing, you're gonna to have to look up the appropriate parts to convert the front over to a sprocket. So in short, you have to convert the front of the drive system over to a sprocket setup, and you have to convert your rear wheel over to a rear sprocket setup or get a rear wheel already set up for that. Then you're gonna to have to either buy an appropriate length chain for that motorcycle, or you're gonna to have to buy a standardized chain and you're gonna to have to have it cut down and linked up or cut it down and link it up yourself for that motorcycle. As you can see, there's a lot that goes into this. It's not just literally unbolt the shaft, bolt a set of sprockets and a chain onto it and ride off into the sunset, okay? There's a lot of parts involved and I really, really highly recommend, I know this may, I know this may not really be what you wanna hear, but unless you already have the experience and know what you're doing for a custom job, in which case you're probably not watching this video, why are you watching this if you already absolutely know what you're doing doing a custom job on a motorcycle? If you don't have the experience doing a custom job or you're not doing a true ground up custom job, don't convert the rear end of your motorcycle, okay? Just, if you have a shaft drive bike, and you're not happy with it, sell that, buy something with a chain or vice versa. If you're gonna do it, that's the stuff you're gonna have to go through, but I'm not gonna do a step-by-step -step video on it because like I said, I just don't have one of those here and I don't have the desire to beat my face against a wall and convert a shaft drive over to a chain. I hope that helps. I hope that didn't make too many of you really, really mad. I had the question, so I had to answer it. Obi-Wan Funky, I would highly recommend and you can let me know what your situation is. Leave me a comment, let me know if it's a custom job or something like that. I'd be happy to help more. But depending on the situation, I would highly recommend just selling or trading off your shaft driven bike and getting something with a chain if you want a chain final drive, as opposed to going through the hassle and the extra expense. You will usually spend more money converting to a chain drive than you would just buying the motorcycle that already has a chain drive on it, especially after selling your shaft driven motorcycle. I hope that helps. I hope it was interesting at all, guys. Leave me a like, leave a comment, leave all that kind of good stuff. Let me know what you think. As always, have a great day, guys. Ride safe. I'm Alex. Peace.